This is the birthday atom model activity in lesson two. This activity works great as a homework assignment for your students, so you'll likely want to introduce it at the end of class time. In this activity, your students will be assigned the task of creating a three-dimensional model of an atom which is the same atomic number as that of their birthday. For example, the student here had a birthday on the 13th of the month. The element on the periodic table which has number 13 as its atomic number is aluminum. So the first thing this student did was go to a resource book or they went online to find out information about their birthday element. In this case they looked up the element aluminum. The student then went about constructing their model using materials which represented something about their particular element. Most likely here they found that, that aluminum was a um, lightweight metal and used for making uh, pop cans. So to build their model they've used components which are made up of aluminum. The model that you require your students to make should have three main parts representing the three subatomic particles of that element. In the case of aluminum here the student first took ring tabs that off the top of the uh, pop cans and created 13 electrons which were circling around the nucleus of their model. To make the neutrons and protons they used aluminum foil. Then they also used paper clips which are usually made partially out of aluminum. Another aspect of each model that you can consider asking to do is create the model so that it can be hung or suspended. And you can use these as decorations in your classrooms. Let's look at some other examples of uh, materials your students might use for their models. If a student's birthday fell on the sixth of the month, that element would be carbon, number six right here. Carbon is an element that's found in anything that is living or was once alive. So an example they might use are some artificial flowers or artificial leaves or actually living specimens if they could manage to get those onto their model. If their birthday fell on the 29th of the month, which is copper, they might use copper pennies or small pieces of copper wire or uh, pieces of copper tubing. If their birthday is on the third of the month, which is lithium, they might use some objects which represent lithium batteries. Now it's, it's most likely these batteries here do not have lithium in it and it's not necessarily uh, required that they use objects which are exact examples of that element. So in the case of lithium here, uh, using batteries to represent lithium batteries is certainly acceptable. Another example would be found in matches here. The compounds on the end of a match are made of phosphorus so a student who had his birthday on the 15th of the month could use, utilize matches. If a student has his or her birthday on the 18th of the month they could use Christmas bulbs or any sort of incandescent bulb because these uh, bulbs contain argon. And argon is a gas that is used to make the light bulb burn cooler on the inside so they pump argon gas into the glass bulbs before they're sealed shut and that helps the bulb burn longer and therefore last uh, not burn out as quickly. So a collection of uh, different size Christmas bulbs might be uh, something that they can use in their model. Another example uh, if a student has their birthday on the 30th of the month if you refer to the table 
Number 30 is the element zinc. Zinc is a metal, a gray metal, that's often used to coat or galvanize uh, washers, bolts, nuts, things like that. And so uh, these are readily available and a student can uh, use these as their uh, subatomic particles. Uh, another example is for zinc with these tablets here, which are zinc uh, tablets used to uh, fight colds. And so those tablets in there might be an option that they can use. If we look at these uh, plastic bracelets here, uh, like the flowers we talked about earlier, plastics are made from hydrocarbons and hydrocarbons contain carbon and therefore any plastic object contains carbon as well as hydrogen. And so if a student happened to have their birthday on the first of the month, which is the element hydrogen, any object made of plastic could also work. So these are some examples of objects that the students could potentially use to create their model. Now once the model is created and then brought back to class, uh, the students should be prepared to present their model to the class. They should be able to tell the name of the element, how, how and maybe who discovered the element, when it was discovered, and then some of the major uses for that uh, element. They also should be able to describe their model for you and tell you why they used the parts that they did, and then tell you how many of each part that they used. For example, if they did use matches in their ma uh, model of phosphorus, to tell you how many matches they use and if those matches represented neutrons, protons, or electrons. And, and obviously they should have used 15 of, uh, of each item to represent those subatomic parts. This is an excellent uh, activity to use with all ages of students. It does a very good job of allowing a student to uh, retain this information and I highly recommend you making an assignment for your students.